Hey, welcome back. So in this one, uh, we're gonna be replacing an outdoor security light on my shed in the backyard. So I'll show you real quick what I got going on. So I had to turn it in test mode to get it to come on. Um, the sensor mount is broken out of the base. Um, and this old light, it's just really old, doesn't put out a lot of light. So I wanted to replace it with LED. So I found this on Amazon for 30 bucks. A lot of good reviews. Has three adjustable lights and an adjustable uh, motion sensor and a couple modes of functionality. So we'll play with that. But uh, yeah, so in this one, I'll just do a little bit of a review of this product. Uh, I'll leave a link to the one I used. Uh, it was like, I think an Amazon choice and it was on sale for like $29. Lots of good reviews, like I said. Um, but we'll go over a little bit of install. So removing the old light, installing the new one, and then some testing to see how it works and what I think about it to wrap it up. All right, let's get started. So first, a little unboxing review. Uh, this is the box that came in from Amazon. Uh, so you need a couple tools, screwdrivers, basic cancels. Um, but like I said, it's got the main light and the three on the side. They're all adjustable and you can adjust the motion sensor. And that's the package that came in. And then it also did come with hardware, so a mounting bracket, screws, and uh, wire nuts and also a little bit of directions and a gasket for the back of it to keep water out. Um, but without further ado, that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the old one removed. Alright, so the old gasket's pretty worn. As you can see, I'm going to do my last test of the wires. Hot is dead and neutral, no power on either one. So now I'll go ahead and disconnect the wire nuts and the ground and get this removed. on the wires clean them up yeah whoever did this before just split the sheathing way too far up so now it's coated all the way back into the outer sheathing of the wire coming in I am gonna go ahead and swap out the bracket this one might work I don't know um, but I got a new one so might as well swap the bracket out I'll do that real quick just two screws and then put the new bracket in said I just reused the two uh, short screws that the old bracket had on tying them in I also have a ground strap for the light because this is plastic so there's a green and yellow ground wire so three wires black white and the green and yellow ground so white to white black to black and I will install this green and yellow ground to that green ground screw on the bracket let's get that done is done I put the ground on the green ground screw on the new bracket uh, just twisted it around and tightened the screw white to white black to black with the new wire nuts and since this is outside I did put some electrical tape around the base of the wire nuts the last trick I like to do for potential wet areas like outside and bathrooms is I always turn the wire nuts and point them up so if water were to somehow get in through the roof granted this is under you know an awning and shingles but if water were to get into the box like come in through the wire and run down the wires the wire nuts pointing down moisture can get inside the wire nut where the wire where the wires are connected so i just turn these wire nuts before i shove them back in and point them up so the open side is down it's a little extra step i do um, but as far as mounting i'm going to push it up onto the bracket and push all the wiring in and then i got one screw that comes in from the bottom through here to attach to this stud and we'll get it installed. So I got that one screw in and tightened. Um, I had to just bend this down out of the way and I had to use a regular screwdriver because my drill was a little too fat. Interfered, but I got that screw tightened. You can see the sandwich gasket all the way around that I installed, it's pretty tight, looks good. Um, there is a knob here that you can loosen and then you can adjust right and then these also adjust but I'll play with adjusting it um, the motion sensor is also adjustable and actually on top of it are your controls so you have sensitivity high medium and low mine set to high and then you have a test 
30 second, 60 second, and 120 second timer for how long the light stays on. I have it set all the way to 120 and high for now. But we'll go get the breaker cut back on and see if it works. So future me was editing the video and I realized I forgot night shots and I knew someone would make a comment if I didn't do it. So here we are, uh, just after sunset. The only real light we have is that street light there. The moon's out, light from the neighbor's house. So we're going to head over this way. Oh, that came on. Pretty good range, uh, you know, 30, 40 feet. Can't really complain there. So there's how bright it is. <laughs> I can't actually look at it, it's hurting my eyes. Lights up this area with the light I have pointing this way, pretty good. The whole area. We'll stand under it real quick so we can get an idea how far the throw is. It almost throws to my fence. I could probably point it up higher, but I don't want to like shine lights into my neighbor's house over there. So. About three quarters of the way across my yard is where it's aimed right now. And then that other side one, woo, it's pointed up towards the deck. So I'm happy with how it's pointed, yet <laughs> you can see how bright it is. Let me back away a little more. So the main light I have pointing more down, so it doesn't spill as much light as far, and then the other ones point further. But yeah, so there you go. I'll edit this in before the closing of the video, but there's how it looks at nighttime. All right. Uh, overall thoughts of it. Uh, it's it's not super well made. I mean, it is plastic. It's like ABS plastic. Can't complain for 30 bucks. Um, so yeah, I mean, the quality is good for 30 bucks. The, the housings all have heat fins on them. Um, these little diffuser lenses good adjustability basic motion sensor settings it seems to work fine uh, hardware was fine no complaints with the install hardware or any of that stuff so yeah for 30 bucks I think it's a good deal I uh, don't know how long it's gonna work obviously but I can't complain so yeah that's it that's my thoughts on it uh, thanks for watching this one I'll leave a link in the description to the exact light I got from Amazon if you're interested in checking it out. But yeah, that's it. Thanks. Bye.